Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack Giovanni through Redemption. I am Kai Toyahiko, and in the last episode, uh, we had a f little cutscene with Kai Haku, and he gave us a sword that I will not be able to use for a very, very long time because I'm going the wrong way. Because it's like a level 140 sword, and I'm only like level 109, so that's cool. And in this episode, we, gonna, we got a short mail from Saku, so we're gonna go ahead and go and see what she wants. Saku. What did you want to talk about? Well, here's the deal. I'm here to say goodbye. Where'd this come from? You mean you're quitting the world? Yeah, I suppose that's one way of putting it. Yep, this is pretty much it for me. Oh, don't worry. Bo isn't gonna quit, so you won't have to go short on Epitaph users. Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. I don't get it. Why are you saying you're going to quit all of a sudden? Did something happen? The reason I'm quitting is because my job is done. Your job? Yeah, that's right, my job. Face it, now that you're here, there's no need for me anymore. Wait a minute. Saku, what are you talking about? You see, I... My body only exists here in the world. And my mind only exists inside of Bo. So, you mean you don't exist in the real world? Yeah. Pretty much. Wait, so that means Saku isn't Bo's twin sister, but is really another personality living inside of Bo? Seriously? Bo's really clumsy, right? I mean, he gets picked on because of that. In both the real world and when he's playing online. The reason I was born was because Bo was always crying in his heart. So you see, I was born to protect Bo. But now, you're the one who's protecting Bo, Haseo. And Natalie and Kuhn are both looking out for Bo, too. So, I guess this is the end of the line for me. I'll leave the rest up to you. Hey, Saku! You gotta promise me that you'll take real good care of Bo. I mean, I know he can be such a big crybaby, but he's a really good kid. Wait! Don't just decide this on your own! You've been together all this time, right? You're his big sister, aren't you? Shouldn't you take care of your little brother until the end? But Haseo, I was never supposed to exist. I'm no longer needed. Not needed? Don't be so stupid. But Master N and Bo, as long as they have you, they'll be just fine. And besides, nobody I know would be sorry to see me leave. Nobody, nobody in the whole world. There's nobody in the whole world who'd be sad if I wasn't here! But that's not true! If you leave, Bo will... I don't care what you say to me! I said I'm going, and I'm going, and that's that! I'm not doing a thing you say, you stupid busybody! Saku! Saku is leaving. It's not right. What about Bo? I mean, he loves his big sister so much, he'll be crushed. Come on, Saku. Oh. So I was right when I said that in like the first game or so, that Saku was split person. I was fucking, I win. Because, uh, you know, I, ho I honestly don't remember this game like at all. The only part I remember about this game is the boss I left off on when I rage quit. 
which is, I think, coming up soonish. But that's literally the only thing I remember about this game. So, I, I didn't remember that it was split personality, so I win! <laughs> I am the winner. I am the winner. And that's very depressing. Saku, don't go. I hate you, but don't go. I'm sure somebody would be sad. I mean, come on, I love split personalities. That's like my favorite thing ever. Didn't you guys watch me play... Uh, <laughs> didn't you guys watch me play Mega Man Star Force? I love fucking Tsukasa because he has split personality. Anyways, Forest of Pain from Taiyaku. I wonder if you remember meeting me in the Forest of Pain. We were both residents of that forest, but it seems that forest brings about different things for each of us residents. You are truly radiant now, and I am as filthy as ever. I feel jealousy for you, impatience for myself, and even hatred for that cruel, unfair forest. But enough of that. There's no point in trying the same ground. I ask you again. Save Sirius and Arcade for me. I think only you can. Yeah, I'll save them. I think we can go into the Forest of Pain. I'm just not sure, like, when, but... Coronation ceremony has been postponed. Coronation ceremony has been put on hold by the emergency server maintenance. Furthermore, the following features have been suspended. Travel to High Brazil, ranking events at Demon Palace, Holy Palace, Safe Palace, you may still play in the survival element battles. How sad. Arena events have been closed down across the board. All the commentators were all boss, and I'm really not satisfied with their work. I wanted, at the very least, to give my all for the coronation. I was given the role of announcer when I joined this company, and I've spent 12 years of my life pouring heart and soul into fulfilling that position. In all that time, I've never seen anything so sad. However, however, I promise I'll bring you a truly stirring commentary next time. Oh. <laughs> so, you wrote that email. So, it was that person, Sakubo from Bo, my sister. Sako saying she'll leave. I tried my best to stop her, but she just wouldn't listen. It's all my fault. Sako must be mad because I make trouble for her all the time. Big brother Maseo, please stop her. I don't want her to go away. Sako, did she tell Bo that she was leaving for good? It's okay, Bo. I'll do something to fix this. Just give me a little time to talk to Sako and get her to realize what she's doing. Yata. I took my eyes off Yata for a moment, and now he's gone. In the real world. <sighs> Assemble at Raven's at home immediately. Yata's disappeared again? Let's go to Raven's at home. You son of a fucking bitch, Yata. Son of a cow. Why you gotta do that? God. You're making everything blue. That was a word. That was totally a word. Okay, let's log in. Let's log in. Yeah. Oh, everybody's like gone. Like all the whole everybody left. Mom and Cody went somewhere, and then Dad and went somewhere, and Kelly's at her friend's house. So whatever. Ovan. <laughs> you were the one controlling Sakaki, weren't you? Sakaki's limited abilities alone are not enough to topple me from the throne of the GU. Why would you do such a thing? In order to move the clock forward. So what's your plan? To awaken the eight Epitaph users, I assume? That is one of my processes, yes. But the greatest concern I have for my plan's success is you, Yata. You alone. Me? Is it because my avatar has not yet awakened? Only me, out of the eight epitaph users? You're a stuck-up, know-it-all boy. Maybe so, but I'm better than the other Epitaph users. Better than Haseo. And better than you, Ovan. You say I'm lacking? Face the facts. As a dedicated player, I love the world more than anyone. What you loved was Aura. And this world. 
I even pained for Ida. These gods from another place that came to this world. But they wouldn't. They wouldn't return my feelings. They loved you, Ovan. Not me. You! You say I was loved? Yes. You were blessed. Blessed by Ara and Ida both. You awakened as an epitaph user and held Ida inside your body. I wasn't chosen. Even though I love them so much. No. 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 No, no, no! Not gonna lie, I'm confused. <laughs> Although I do know who Aura is. Pies called us. Let's head to Raven's at home. I remember, I remember Aura. And I and the little scene with Aura and the boss fight in that general time. But not fighting Aura. I don't know if you could fight Aura. But it was boss fight. I had to do with Aura. And kicked my ass because he sucks and I hate him. <laughs> but that's just me. Hi, Snary. I I think I had to do with Aura. Something like Aura. I don't really remember. I just remember the boss fight, and I remember he kicked my ass, and I hate him, and I still hate him, and I always hated him, kind of. That's how that worked out. I do think I'm coming up to that fight, though. That'll be cool. Get to where I never finished the game. You took back the Serpent of Lore? CC Corp's <laughs> higher-ups are trying to figure out who to blame for everything that happened with Sakaki. The administrative rights for GU were up in the air, so I snatched them while I could. I understand. So what about Yada? I think I have a fix on his location. A little more? I found him! What's that? Could it be that Yada is the final epitaph user? Haseo, come with me. We're going to the deepest room in the Sigma Ethical Prodigy's Prophecy Dungeon. Oh man, my least favorite kind of dungeon. Son of a bitch. Thank you. Ethical let's head to where Yada is. Yeah, let's 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 do that in the next episode. <laughs> because I'm at about 15 minutes, so that's cool. That's awesome fun times. I'll get at least to break up on that before I end it. But otherwise, I'd sit and fucking invite. Stadly Hi, let's go. Yes, yes, my party members, let's go. Alright, here we go. I'm at Burger Pond now. Yay! So that will be the end of for this episode. In the next episode we'll go save Yada or something. I don't know. That's cool. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.